young man. He's a spiv. In fact, he's a blinking blighter. He's beneath you. And he has a criminal record. But Daddykin. Oh, but Daddykin's nothing. I gave you that part in the play to further your career, not to mix with young men. Well, darling, whatever is the matter? I think the bombing, uh, some of our, our special effects chappies haven't turned up. So, I wonder if we have a few volunteers, please. Um, I'll volunteer for you then. <laughs> now, let me see. There's only to help with special effects uh, uh, chappies. Uh, this young lady here will do fine. This young lady here. Can you give her a round of applause, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's enthralling episode of The Mystery of the Mummy's Curse. <laughs> Last week, we left our intrepid Professor Thompson locked inside the museum's strong room. <laughs> God, I keep knocking. You didn't knock on the table. I did not knock him! <laughs> no one is out there. There's not much air left. <laughs> Just then, the muffled sound of an automobile. Come on, it's Smotty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
It's 28 minutes past midnight. I thought I told you not to change the lines. Sorry, old Green. I just wanted to make my character more aggressive. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, no! I think we had better be getting back to the hotel. Come along, Daniel. Barbara and Daniel left the room. Hurry down the stairs. Stairs. Uh. Across the gravel path. <laughs> along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the 